Hey everybody, welcome back to Hero U, Rogue's Redemption. I'm the Blues 32, and there really isn't much we can do. I looked it up. Once again, you have to wait until the time is right. As annoying as it is. Quirks is the only way to stop the drafts from swarming castles if I deal with the queen draft. You start by looking for the creepiest painting in the library. She'll think to try to come from the dungeon, but has no clue how to get there. Hmm, that's weird. I, I guess I didn't get anything out of from speaking to Thomas. Say it. Say, say the thing about the home. Come on, the pocket is your home. Are you too good for your home? God, I love that line. It always makes me laugh. I have seen the drats. Apple core? Another apple core. Are those... Is that what he was supposed... Have I supposed to be noticing those in, uh... It's new. Awesome, I've been inspired to write a song about the school. I'm not reading that. So what are people saying about the drats? Drats are everywhere. They chased my bard class out of the practice room and ran off with a fiddle bow and a saxophone. Ah, clearly the drats are into sax and violins. Was that about Lorenzo? The maestro was demonstrating his basso profundo when a drat jumped down on top of him from the rafters and knocked off Lorenzo's hat and his wig. My whole class sat there desperately trying not to laugh. My maestro demonstrated his extensive vocabulary and profanity as he placed his wig back on his head and stomped off to speak to the headmaster. As soon as he slammed the classroom door on his way out, we all started rolling on the floor with laughter. Best class ever! Pretty sure I really don't need to speak to the quirk again. In fact, I won't. I'm going to hobble off to bed. As he was saying, "Want so safe cracking requires the same skills as lock picking, but with the deft touch and more patience. You will have an opportunity to demonstrate your." Patient on skill at staff cooking tomorrow during class, so I suggest that you master this, that skill this afternoon. Uh, Master Ulrod, there's a diary right behind you. <sighs> you will need to bring your rogue tools with you to class tomorrow. Another one. As I was saying, you will be tested upon your skills. Where are these Verdernian vermin doing in my class? This is unacceptable! You are dismissed! Drats in class really ticked Gerdov off. In other news, he's really good at dagger throwing. As for safe cracking, I'm pretty good at it as it is. I don't think there's anything I can ask him, but let's try it anyway. There's a drag queen driving the diorats into the castle in search for something. Do you know where this drag queen can be found? She's in a room beside the watering cellar, but the door from the cellar has been blocked off by debris. There's supposed to be another way through the dungeon, though. 
Dungeon is a very dangerous place in and of itself, Aerokhan. I do not recommend that you venture there unless you have honed all your skills on wits. However, if you succeed, you will prove to the headmaster and to Herr Turk that a rogue can be a real hero to this university. Hmm. I have always been a kind of characteristic and unconventional. However, in my youth, I believe that rules and laws were necessary and good for society. Kings and nobles were inherently superior to lower classes and deserved to rule them. I was soon disillusioned of such notions of nobility and righteousness by the stupidity of the ceaseless warring in Germania and the blunt injustices done in the name of the rulers. Why is he a ghost? I would have succumbed to bitterness and cynicism had I not met a young rogue who reminded me that life is what we make of it. One can always do what they know is right. One person can change the world for good. A rogue saved my life from, from wasted ruin. Thus I became a rogue in order to do the same for others. That is cool. Stop saying hello! You can't fool me. My German isn't perfect by any means. But I know Guten Tag for our Fwitiz from Oswiedersane. This feels wonderful. Oh, something popped. Trash talking. As tempting as it is. But the halls are filled with drats again. Little bastards. Up and down, up and down. It's just the way my life is going. Not let them stop me from my getting my dinner. I will sneak to the door if I have to. He said I will sneak to the door if I have to. on end with all the drats running around the castle. I can't imagine why. Librarian, he mentioned something about a room. Then said I needed to do more research or something. So I guess I should head to the library. After I deliver an apple to the to the quirk.
Whoa. Chill this one up my spine. Is it just me or does this place suddenly seem scarier? Experiencing certain magical energies on a physical level. What sort of magical energy? The passageway has not been opened. That is all I will say on this matter. Oh dear. Despite all futile attempts to restore the lifeless Vanna, Mortea refused to accept that she was lost. He cast a spell and vanished with Vanna's soulless body. Sir Hans and Sir Jamis were summoned from before the High King of Albalon. Ladonian had been destroyed and the High Prince was dead. The High King blamed the knights for these tragedies and banished them from Albaon. That's not fair, they just saved the world! Unfortunately, all too often, no good deed goes unpunished. And that's all I can read for now. No. going there, do not get yourself killed. Oh dear. Yeah, just do it. We got this. Move in, there's a secret patch behind you. Here goes nothing. Let's see where this thing goes. Oh boy. And here I thought the painting was scary. This whole passage feels like a nightmare where I'm creeping down a dungeon corridor with nasty monsters about to leap out at me. Which is, of course, exactly what I'm doing right now. Only hopefully with fewer monsters. There's a door up ahead. I can get out of this creepy corridor. And into an even creepier room. Okay, it looks much less scary here. Oops, spoke too soon. Hello, my name is... Mudete. Am I dead? Okay. We have a problem. Really? Can't talk to him about what just happened? not say anything, hmm? Don't. Say. Anything. Why are you talking? Library. I guess there's a lot of not a lot of contemporary fiction in there though. Table looks like it's telling you to see the Knights of Lamar. The guy on the horse is probably Sir Jamis, that means the is our really Van Hannes and Motier. Let's 
uh, not bother him. Sound gun, there's a door, no hand on him. Can't hear anything through it. It seems pretty thick. Hmm. Smart move, man. Smart move. Okay, here I go. Down in the danger. Okay, so where am I now? Cells, cages, creepy stuff. I guess this must be the torture chamber. I guess that's the sort of cap that fits on the head, a hole in the seat, a fire pit under it. I guess if they put the burning coals in the seat while someone's fastened in it. Who thinks up this sort of thing? It's painful just to look at it. I thought the Knights Lumiere who built the castle were good guys. If they didn't make this torture chamber, what sick per sort of person did? I mean, besides Turk. Turk would totally love this place. So that's not very deep. There's just more stone down there with a hole in it. Mm, nothing I got seems to fit in the hole inside the rock. I think we should just live her alone, hmm? Pretty suspicious wall. Except for the archway, it looks like any other wall down here. Gotta be a reason for the arch, though. Maybe it used to be a door. Or maybe you just have to figure out how to open it. There's something not quite what about this wall. It's trapped. I guess it's just another t form of torture for some poor prisoner. Not sure I like the fact that it's called Sucker. I guess that's why it's called Sucker. That's pretty pathetic. I can't imagine how miserable they must have been anyone who was put a prisoner in these cells. I'm sure people are just dying to hang around in these. I mean, clearly it's standing room only. Looks like you have to lower it to open it, and I don't see any point in messing with it. Ah, the good old stocks. Hmm, stocks. It was set of stocks outside the city guardhouse where they put pay thieves up on display to be shamed and pelted with rotten fruit. I get the feeling that down here they pelt the prisoner with something a bit harder than fruit. What the hell? Dropping into oblivion. I see dead people. Looks like they just piled up dead people after they tortured them. At least I hope they were dead at the time. That's a little too close to grave robbing. That's a step I hope I never have to take. 
again. Like I haven't done so before. Okay, that looks even more like a door. Ah, it's the filthiest place on Earth. I don't have finger... What do you mean you don't have fingernails? Uh, the one thing they probably didn't use these barrel for is for wine. Salt. Oh, of course, they're rubbing the wound. Blech. At least there's good ventilation. I see dead people, but it looks just like rubble to me. I used to read a lot of King Stefan books, so I know all about these things. So it's still locked all this time. However, it's no match for my lockpicking skills. Yep, of course, there's it's no match for my lockpicking if I go to the lock first. Is that right? Is that right? The dagger stuck straight into his chest. Well, maybe it was more of a merciful than starving or dying of thirst. I shall avenge thee. I was going to say that while pouring the dagger out of someone. You should not have interfered. Oh no, real avenging! Shit. This is bad. nullifying his, uh, ability to, uh, drain me. I know metal always feels cold, but this is ice cold. There has to be magic to it. I don't know if the cold's enough to freeze an enemy permanently, but it's probably cold enough to slow him down a bit. It's not only neatly sliced the hair, it's also frozen. It's crunchy. That's actually pretty cool. I agree. Into my hand it goes. torture stuff. Wait, what? Hey, I feel a song coming on. Hmm. I knew a guy who built these. He said that after they make them, they have to attach a label that says that the winches on this thing can add years of flexibility and mobility to your life, but only if used as directed. He also said they were 100% never used as directed. And cobwebs... Hmm. All right. Um. Let's 
ever pulling. I'm a little concerned about pulling these this lever, but I have no choice. Hello. Hey, now this thing comes right out of the stone. Do I get to be king or something? Did that cause the other door to close? It did not. Well. Hidden door in a prison cell. I really doubt that the pr some prisoner built this as an escape route. So let's see where this door takes me. Don't just do that. You should have let me listen first. More stairs. Great. What was that? Did I just get a medieval text? part of the story of the Legend of Lamar. I think all these chapters are telling the story. I've read in the library about the founding of the Knights of Luminar. It's maybe the first one, since it seems to be telling the story of how the Knights of Luminar began. They were sworn to drive out the darkness of Aldbaum. Let me see. The top part's got to be showing off the founders. Not sure who they all are, but the woman must be Vedelina, and that's probably Sir James on his horse, Wim. The one holding Vedelina's hand has to be Mortui, and Aquino must be the one on the right. Yeah. Now, the middle section. They're fighting the Dark One? Or one of his creatures. Only has fallen. Or she's kneeling next to her. She's either injured or already dead. Now it looks like they're celebrating the bottom part, but Mutar, he's in mourning. She was definitely dead by now. Wow, they are not moving. Very well. We can. this one say? The second part of the story, the second tablet, since done to start with the founding of the Luminari, ends with a cliffhanger. The top section looks like it shows how the Lum Luminari were banished from Alabon for all the destruction they caused while fighting the Dark One's monsters. That is so unfair, but I guess the king didn't like that his son got killed in the fighting. In the middle part, they're sailing to an island. That would have to be Sardonia. And that's the Luminari symbol over the castle on the island. So they were either drawn to just that castle, or somebody turned on the Luminari signal. Okay, so maybe there's a little artistic license here. 
So now at the bottom, they're fighting another one of the tentacle beasts that the Dark One sent. I'm guessing those are Sir Hans and Aquino with Wim carrying Sir Jameis. I guess no place was safe from the Dark One, even after the battle in Albon that came before the events shown on this tapestry. Hmm. I'm real glad I... I'm glad I read the library display so I have a clue what's going on here. Guess I didn't read far enough because I don't remember this part of the story. Well, it's not my fault. Levers. I'm not getting anywhere with my tools. I guess I'll have to actually figure this thing out. Seems some sort of metallic device. There are a series of small levers with s some tracks in the metal. I think they can move moved along the, the racks. Some sort of clue. Examine the door. Okay, big heavy door, no obvious handle or latch, doesn't want to budge, no keyhole, there's gotta be a way to open it. There's a magical field barring the door, it's connected to the pattern on the wall beside it. It also feels like there's some sort of magical power on the other side of the door. Heavy wooden door has the symbol of the Knights of Honor with a Hall of Honor card upon it. It doesn't seem to be locked. Nope, I can't hear any monsters slavering near the door just waiting for me to be their late night snack. Good thing. Hmm, Thomas mentioned something about this, but he was very vague. I'm seeing no clue anywhere. I get the feeling that it has something to do with this, but I don't know how I'm supposed to interpret it. Bowing to the dead. This tells me something very important about this room. It's got to be up to me to lighten the mood around here. Hmm. For all those who have dedicated their lives to bring the light to drive away the darkness. Maybe someone will do a stained glass version of me when I'm history. Well, you like to get stained glass. I mean, an actual stained glass, like from the kitchen. There's also a spell effects of motion. You can feel hope and inspiration just looking at it. What did it say? It's very uh, fret of his light, so just in the gray, his name cast aside, only duty remained. Evermore stands his stone, sentinel at the gate, for betrayers of truth, death and destruction await. Hmm. Yeah, it's James. Uh, Northeast, southwest, southeast. Let's see if that's what I'm supposed to be taking away from this. No? 
unless that way's north. Because the thing's kind of says that. So that would be... Well, so much for that idea. I could remember what Thomas said. Anyway, I should probably end this video. And the Blues 32. This is... Uh... Um... Hero U, Rogue to Redemption. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.